Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be showing you guys how to quickly install this beautiful HD lace wig from Micron Wigs. I've worked with them previously in the past and I've always been a fan of their HD lace. Like hands down, they have one of the best HD laces on the market. So today I'm going to be installing this 13 by 6 lace frontal wig. It's an HD lace frontal wig. It is 20 four inches i believe yes 24 inches and i'm just going to be showing you guys real quickly how i just what you call it slap my wig on and go through the door pretty much yeah that's all so here you know the step already you cut off your ear tabs measure it up going in with my lace grip glued it is the truth i will be doing an in-depth review about this glue once again i got y'all just give me just give me some time give me some time but i'm going ahead i'm just gonna go in with like two to three layers you know get it all smooth everything out until it's completely clear and then we're gonna go on with the melting process i won't say too much in this video because it's like self-explanatory and if it's not don't worry because i do like i said have a detailed tutorial coming up how to customize everything how to how to do everything 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 well, I did go ahead and just quickly bleach it and just give it like a quick pluck, nothing too crazy. I, what I do love about this wig company is that their knots on their lace is so fine. It is so tiny that it only takes about 15-20 minutes to bleach. Like you don't have to leave on the bleach for an hour, 45 minutes, all of that crazy stuff with thicker knots. These knots are super, super thin, so it's easier and flat, faster to bleach. So that, thumbs up. So now with just the remaining makeup that is on the brush that you use to apply to your cap, you want to go ahead and rub it on the outside of the lace. Do not add any more because you're going to make it super dark. Because once you spray it with like your favorite holding spray to tie it down for that final melt, it makes it a little dark already. So adding too much makeup is going to make it, this is going to throw off the whole look. Your edges are going to be black and you're just going to look crazy. So like you don't want that. When I say black, I'm not talking about black, obviously. I'm talking about like super, super, super dark. And we do not want that. So once you take the band off and it starts to look a little crusty, that's okay. You want to go in with some skin guard, whether it's Erica J. That's personally what I use, but there's other preferable different types of skin guard you could go in with. And then you want to go ahead and spray all across your hairline. It's going to lift up any type of residue or that crusty looking, you know, you know, you know how it look after you take the band off. When you spray that and rub it up, it's going to bring it right back to life. Then you're going to proceed with the styling part of this video. So I'm just giving myself a simple little middle part today with like four little baby hairs, you know, two on the front, two on the sides. Good to go. So sometimes if you want that extra, extra, extra melt, you want to go back in a second time with that favorite holding spray and your band. But here, I'm just plucking out my baby hairs first. I feel like they were a little too thick, but that's fine. You can just go ahead 
and just thin it right on out as you can see like this front tool was so nice and easy to work with like this is probably like, the fastest i ever installed a wig like it was literally one two three and now i'm just gonna go ahead oh that's my kai in the bag hey kills and now i'm just gonna go ahead and spray again and tie it up and i'm gonna proceed to my baby hair step yes i'm gonna fix that part so don't worry about it So now my hair is all straight and all I need to do is go in with some jet black dye and when your part is too big you just want to follow the steps. I just got like a little, it was from like a little makeup kit, you know little cheap makeup kits with the eyebrow brush tool, with the eyebrow brush and the comb. So I went ahead and I got some black dye and just put it on the back of like a, um, a gel container and I went ahead and I just started, you know, bringing, you want to bring it, you want to bring the dye in. Am I saying it right? I hope I'm saying it. I hope you understand what I'm saying. Bring it in to make it as slim as possible it's to your preference i don't like my parts super 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 fine like back in the days but i like them to be just right so i went ahead and i made sure everything was just right and i did everything i had to do off camera and here is the final results i hope you guys did enjoy this video the link will be in my description box on where to get this hair and all the information and i'll see you guys again real soon later